good handsaw is a really important part of the workshop. And here at Garrett Wade, we have some excellent choices. But before you get into the details such as the teeth per inch or the length of the blade or teeth set, you'll have to make the bigger choice about whether you want to use a Western style saw or whether you might prefer working with a Japanese style saw. There are significant differences between the two and there are also some similarities because after all, both of them are meant for cutting wood. This is a look at how they work and why you might want to choose one over the other, or in my case, why you might choose to have both styles of saw in your workshop. So this first saw that I'll use is a Western style saw, which means it cuts on the push stroke. It also means the handle is typically some form of a pistol grip. Look at my technique and you can see that it's really the push stroke that's doing the work and the pull stroke is just a relaxed return to the starting position. The steel blade is typically just stiff enough so that it doesn't bind and buckle when I apply force. And if you keep the blade nice and clean of resin or any buildup, and also keep the teeth nice and sharp, it'll be a joy to use every single time. This particular model is a hybrid style. The teeth are sized, set, and spaced so that it makes an excellent crosscut saw, which means when you're cutting across the grain of the wood, but it'll also make nice clean rip cuts which is when you cut along the grain of the wood so it's really a great dual purpose saw this second saw is a Japanese style saw it cuts on the pull stroke and the handle grip is like a sword it's an extension of the blade which you grip with two hands and because it cuts on the pull stroke, the blade steel is just a little bit thinner, which gives you a faster cut and more control. I find Japanese saws easier to learn for beginners. And here again, this design is a dual use saw. One edge is set up for cross cuts and the other edge is set up for rip cuts. I know by now you're curious which saw is best, right? Here's how I'd look at it. If you're still learning how to use a saw, or maybe you're just an occasional user, I'd definitely choose the Japanese saw. It's much more forgiving and it's easy to use. However, if you're experienced and you do a lot of hand cuts, then choose the Western saw because it has a much longer lifespan. And over that lifespan, it's going to be easy to maintain and you'll be able to keep it sharp. But you don't really have to decide. You don't have to pick one over the other. Do what I do. Get them both. That way you can cut anything, anytime. 